Hi friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, you will be understanding supply chain management and in that lessons learned management. So these are all the subtopics we will be covering. One is the systematic tracker and one more is the horizontal deployment. From the definition point of view, through lessons learned, we have to understand like this. We know that for any innovation, reinvention is needed. But we do not have to always reinvent the things. If there is already an existing invention at some line or in some process or in some plant, we need to take that particular knowledge from there and we need to deploy that particular knowledge through execution here. So until and unless we should not wait for the complaint or as a reactive measure. Then we will be understanding the systematic tracker, what we mean from that. There should be a single point contact for this complete lessons learned management system. The problem or the lesson where we have learned it needs to be addressed in one particular area and then we need to constantly monitor this until and unless it is going to be executed and start giving benefits and then we need to understand what are all the benefits through the ROI calculation and ROI what we mean is the return on investment. Because any kind of improvement which we are going to do will cost money and from this money we should get the maximum return out of that. So with respect to those particular problems we need to understand the root cause then only the innovation what we are going to do will be of meaningful and of great sense for any kind of business. As we already discussed then this is not required always the reinvention is not required we need to always understand and have that not particular knowledge of where this kind of improvement has already happened. With respect to the horizontal deployment we need to understand the timing when it is going to be happening who is responsible for that if we are having five different plants and all five different plants will be having a responsible person respectively then we can easily identify which plant who is responsible for this kind of an kaizen or the lessons learned. What are all the benefits that are coming out of that? Maybe in certain plant there will be huge benefit maybe in the other plant there may not be so much benefit depends on the application of this particular lessons learned. So each lessons learned has to be taken case by case basis. Then there has to be cost benefit analysis also. So with this all these videos we understood and we hope that you have having sufficient knowledge on the supply chain management process. Thank you so much. Tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning.